Okay, hello to another Philips on here video. This one I was hoping to make quite a long time. It's about the new Philips Sonic Air Prestige model. Uh, it's, I believe this is the newest uh, model of the, of the Philips uh, line or to top model line. And yeah, it's it has some new things, some old things. So let's uh, let's go through. Uh, I have to warn you that this is a toothbrush that got into repair. So it's a customer toothbrush and I'm not going to tear it down uh, completely to show you all the all the things. I uh, hope to do this when I will be able to purchase some de defect toothbrush and, and yeah, then I can uh, go through uh, much more as, as yeah, now I don't want to damage the original factory settings. Okay, so first things first is that uh, it's much smaller. But, or let's say, okay, let's start with similarities. Similarities is the casing material is similar to the old diamond clean um, and and it's it looks quite reliable uh, Philips uh, I believe they do improve it every model they improve something uh, a lot of diamond cleans and and smart diamond cleans had this problem that uh, when the toothpaste uh, comes onto, onto this button uh, it gets harder and harder to press as, as with this one you know you see that this part presses much much difficult than this this part, and yeah, and it gets completely uh, uh, impossible to press it. This one uh, gets uh, get rid of the physical button, and now you have a induction based, I believe, the uh, induction based button. And uh, yeah, this is the obvious uh, change. Uh, what I noticed more is that this. This new one casing is much uh, thinner, I would say. Uh, if I try to press it, I'm not sure if the camera will catch it. I should be able to see that this one flexes much more as this one. It, and yeah, physically, you can see that this uh, walls of this toothbrush are much thicker than than this one. Yeah, and of course we have this ribbon cable, as you can see, uh, it's difficult to see inside, uh, but in principle you have a PCB on the whole of this uh, surface, and in here, uh, yeah, I would say this is a step back, as if you get water inside, it will be uh, one additional place where it will be get damaged and it will be, uh, I would say, difficult to... Um, to take it out uh, i haven't tried to take it out but uh, i believe it is glued in place so I'm not sure if uh, it's very difficult to show something but yeah i believe it will be just uh, LED, uh, some leds maybe and Although now that I'm thinking, LEDs will be here. So then they have only... Hmm? Yeah, okay, you, now I'm not able to turn it on as it is... Uh, you have to connect the ribbon cable. Uh, but um, yeah, here... Um, yeah, there is no LEDs on the down downside or, or bottom, bottom side. No LEDs here, but... These three are here and three here, so I believe this uh, part will be a uh, shine through as, as in the previous ones. Okay, I don't remember how it works, but I will um, uh, assemble it and, and turn the different modes uh, so we can uh, compare it. So we, now we have three of these here and I believe three here. Okay, uh, so now for the technical part. Uh, from technical part, let's say the electromagnet is completely the same. Philips stays uh, true to its design. Uh, maybe, maybe there is still no no other technology or better or or something. But let's say this toothbrush came into the repair for the exactly same uh, 
problem that uh, this part was wiggling, so all was needed to be done. This uh, screw was had to be uh, retinted and applied some Loctite. But yeah, electromagnet, magnet, and and uh, uh, sensor um, for the for the new brushes, uh, pressure sensor. This everything is from the previous. Uh, Smart Diamond Clean or, or even even previous other Flex models that had some the sensor. So this uh, stays the same. The whole motherboard is of course shorter as as the old Diamond Cleans. And what I noticed is that uh, battery is uh, new type, smaller or let's say shorter one. Uh, it doesn't write any data regarding uh, capacity. <coughs> So this can be checked in in the future, and I will have uh, another another toothbrush for for the teardown, or let's even some will come with water damage. I could uh, check it even even truly. Okay, um, yeah. What's what changes else is the charging uh, part. Now it's much thinner and and based from the bottom. So yeah the smart diamond cleans or let's say like this uh, diamond cleans are very reliable in the charging uh, part and then the chargers are extremely reliable for the smart diamond clean i had where, where they changed the charger uh, i had a lot of toothbrushes that came in as, as defect but in principle they were all all right and uh, only the charger was the defect one so this is a big spot of the new design, so maybe that's why they changed completely the this this charging. Uh, oh, okay. I think I have one. Yeah. Here I have a smart diamond clean, and yeah, you can see that this part was changed as well. It's not very di different. Let's say it's similar to this one, but it is smaller and. Maybe that's why they had to change the charger as well. So, yeah. And then uh, we have a change in the bottom cap. Uh, bottom cap. Uh, the smart diamond clean and diamond clean, I believe, had similar uh, them. Or no, okay. Yeah, this one was difficult as well. Different as well. So they have changed the bottom cap as well. Now we have only uh, yeah, three locking places that lock onto the brush and here and here and here and of course in this place yeah the, the for the taking out from the casing you have the same procedure you and you when you have the cap off you have to go in next to the uh, case and uh, press these uh, things inwards and and then yeah, when you simultaneously apply pressure it will pop out okay uh, don't have a lot to comment about the motherboard uh, was surprised to see uh, three mosfets so this is something new so this this design changed uh, in the future i will try to maybe see if it with oscillographer or so what 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 has changed maybe they changed the vibration pattern or, or not sure why they added third one third um, MOSFET for this yeah, CPU this is the port that connects uh, ribbon cable from the casing and yeah uh, there are some more components underside but at this point I will not uh, not not tear down tear it down up to that point and yeah a lot of test points uh, and as, as in the previous smart diamond clean design i see that the, the pcb design is uh, multi-layer and yeah this this means that it will be quite difficult to repair water damage once as opposed to the two layers of the simple diamond clean uh, that's uh, very easy to repair and track the traces 
if this will stay in water for longer it's uh, much more difficult to trace uh, what what kind of traces are are um, yeah gone and need to be repaired okay so <clears throat> i think that's shortly as introduction what was changed from or, or what what new technology did philips implemented in these these brushes so let's um, let's let's uh, try to get it in so um, what we need to do is of course uh, yeah find the upper side we get the ribbon cable and let's try to insert it Let's try it out. Okay, <laughs> it works. My braids. One other interesting thing was that this induction sensor is set for a really some pressure. You can just brush it and then clean it, and it will not turn on. But if you press it stronger, then it turns on. Quite interesting approach from from Philips. Okay, and here we have uh, one more safety element. And uh, now I don't really remember how it was on, like this or like this. Maybe let's see like this. And it is just an uh, additional safety clamp for, for, the, for the ribbon cable so it wouldn't uh, easily be pulled out or, or uh, loosened from vibrations so it's with a double-sided tape so take it off very uh, very very slowly and not to not to break it Let's see. Clicked in place. Okay, so we see the three LEDs that are shining. This is some sense IQ or something I don't know, but if we turn it on, hmm, okay, interesting. Maybe I should. Uh, maybe it is needed to uh, bind it with a mobile phone, and then you could change the vibration uh, modes and everything. So I'm not sure how it works, but let's say the part that needed to be repaired was repaired. So I believe this is it for the for the for the re repair video, or not not repair video, but. Uh, simple teardown and then showing you guys the insides of the Philips Sonic Air Prestige. Hopefully I will get one for myself uh, uh, that I can uh, tear down much more and then I will update uh, another, with another video. Thanks and yeah, if you are still watching subscribe. I upload not too often. I will not annoy you but usually I'm trying to Upload something that is not doesn't exist on the YouTube. So thanks and till then. Bye.